today I'm going to be making a mixed media card using these mini media gel plates from John Next Door, a British company sold through Crafts 2 in the UK, I believe. Um, really good value. They're like miniature jelly plates or gel press plates. And this set has four different shapes in it, star, hexagon, triangle and a square. They can be used as stamps almost um, with paint. That's what I'm going to do today using in my stamping platform. Lots of these on the market. I'm sure a lot of you own one of them and they all work in much the same way. Once I've done my background using those, I'm going to be using some um, visible image stamps to finish the card off. Um, so, and the paints that I'm using today are Deco Art Americana. We're using Lamp Black, Snow White, Cadmium Yellow, and Carousel Pink. Any acrylic paint would do the job. You can actually use inks with these as well, although you don't get quite the same effect. I'll be doing a little bit of stenciling. Now, any stencil that's got a small repeating pattern would work fine. Um, basically because of the small size of these you don't want anything too large lots of companies uh, produce stencils I mean we, you can use um, something like this would, would be nice again this one is a nice all over small pattern but today I'm going I want some circles so I've got some sequin waste um, in a couple of sizes this is quite easy to pick up. You sometimes see it in children's craft sections. So that's what we're using today. The only other thing that you'll need will be a brayer just to spread your paint out evenly. I'm putting my paint on. I've got an acrylic sheet here. You can use a non-stick mat, a bit of scrap paper if it comes to that. So for my background, um, I have some mixed media paper. I just think it takes the paint well and it is a nice finish. This one is uh, a paper castell from a pad. I take tear the pages out of the pad. I can get two card fronts and a couple of ATC blanks out of each sheet. So you're not really wasting any. And I'm just going to position on here where I want to put this square media plate. So I'll just position it, put it on there. And we're going to start off with the cadmium yellow paint, I'll put a little bit on there. Just get an even coating on my brayer and brayer it on to the media plate. And then basically you just use it as you would a stamp. If you feel that it's not completely even, go back in again and press down again. But I like the slight texture that you get from it. I'm going to rotate my piece of card and apply some more paint to the media plate. Rotate again. Be careful not to put my magnets in the paint, which might still be slightly damp. And rotate for a final stamping. firmly down. Now if you've got any excess paint left on your brayer, I'm just, just out of camera, just rolling it off onto a scrap piece of paper. No need to wash in between colours, it really isn't worth going to all that effort. So now I'm going to take a piece of this um, sequin waste Punchinella, any small stencil that you've got would, would be suitable. And we're going to use the carousel pink. So again, I'm going to apply a little bit of paint 
into my acrylic sheet. Try and get a fairly even coating onto my brayer. And just bray it through the stencil onto the media plate. And stamp with it. And then we're going to do exactly as we did with the yellow. Rotate and carry on. a little bit more paint you don't want too much paint on your brayer when you're going through a stencil else you might lose some of the definition of the design but don't worry too much each piece that you do is going to be individual and I like that there's some nice character with printing. And that's our final square. It's a really good effect. I love that effect. I love those two colours together as well. But now that we're heading into the spring, it's nice to use some pastel shades. Again, I'm just going to take the excess pink paint off my brayer onto a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to get a bit of the lamp black paint. And using uh, a finer gauge of the sequin waste. So I've got smaller circles. I'm going to see if I can carefully apply a bit through that. It's more difficult with a fi very fine design. So I'm going to try not to um, apply too much paint. I don't want it over the whole plate either. Just want sort of patches of black. So let's try that. Getting a nice sort of grungy effect. And see there, I must have a little bit too much paint on my brayer to start with. But it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong with this. just all about building up some layers and we're going for a sort of grungy look here the stamps that we're using fit that theme perfectly it's not about being pristine if anybody was wondering my original piece of card it's five and a half inches square, 14 centimetres. And by setting this media plate in one and a half centimetres from the edge, it was nicely evenly spaced around as I've been rotating my page. So there, as you can see, we've got Another layer, more depth added to that. Really like that effect. Sounding a little bit croaky today. I hope I'm not coming down with something. A lot of people have been quite ill with the flu. And I don't want that. So just taking off the excess black paint off my brayer on the scrap piece of paper. And what I want to do next is using the star shape I'm going to position that 
over the square. Just close the lid on the stamp press to take it up. And I'm going to use some white paint. So I can find a clean spot on my acrylic sheet. And I'm just going to apply a coat with that. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. This style of card is all about being individual. Again, rotating our piece of card, applying more paint to the media plate and then stamping in place. Square. And we'll just take that to one side. Now those plates can be washed a um, bit of soap and water, but they come up and all the paint will come off and it'll look great. Um, we're just going to let this dry for a moment and then I'm going to add a little bit of detail with a Posca pen, a paint pen. So as soon as that's dry, I'll be back and we'll carry on. Right, so our paint is dry now and uh, while it was drying I've just washed off my media plates and as you can see the paints come straight off and they're as good as new again they're ready to put back in the packet and I'm just going to add some extra detailing um, with this Posca paint pen just to bring out some of the detail so not being too particular you don't have to be artistic you don't need a particularly steady hand I'm just doodling basically around the edge of this star I'm going to do that for all of them When I've done that, I'm just going to, again, not being a bit too particular, do a rough outline to frame our squares. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be completely straight. It's not the look that I'm going for. So anybody can do this. And I'm just now going to do another line right around the outside of our piece of card. And I feel this just ties those painted elements together a little bit better. To finish our card, I'm going, I've stamped the feet and the sentiment from that visible image set. 
I've got my card blank and I've got a mat of black card as well. And we're just going to layer up the card onto the card blank just to finish it off. So using a bit of glue or some double sided tape, we put the black mat onto the card. And I haven't done round one of my stars, I've just noticed that. it down and I think I'm going to glue the feet down and then use a little bit of 3D foam on the sentiment just so that stands up a bit better I'm putting that there and this is some uh, 3D adhesive foam I'm just going to put on the back of this sentiment I matted the sentiment onto a bit of pink card and then some black card And there is a really easy to create mixed media card, lovely original background that I think fits in well with these Teenage Kicks stamps. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're inspired to perhaps try something similar. I'll leave a, a list of what I've used in the description down below and uh, hopefully you'll go away and try yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a little thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I much appreciate those of you that are subscribing and watching all my videos. It just makes it worth the effort and the time that it takes to do it. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye.